think I may have stepped in some gum. I'm going to have to clean my shoes here. But there's ants here. i got to rinse them off, too, damn it. Okay, get my brush here. Get Spray the brush. Watch yourself there. I might even clean your shoes while I got the brush out. Like that. It's turning brown. Will I be able to do your shoes too and you can keep rolling? We'll see. Okay, because I, I want to get that goopy stuff off. I'm thinking about that the whole time. Now see, it's nice and foamy, the fantastic will stay on the brush, do the other one now. So do you think there's gum from this shoe all over the carpet? Every step I take well, spreads seems, a little more? It seems like it stayed on your shoe, but I don't like it. It looks awful. I'm going to get it off if I can. But you know, if it sticks, maybe I'll just clean the gum, and even that'll be better than nothing if the gum will come off. So you prefer Fantastic? Oh, well, it was on sale at Albertsons. Or did I get this at the Knob Hill? I can't remember. <laughs> you had your choice. Which cleaner would you have with you right now? Oh, probably Pro 409, the, the dark green stuff, because I, I think that's stronger. Okay, now that I've scrubbed, first I rinse off the brush. That. Of course, this is where Buddy and Big Buddy eat. So I've got to see the ants all over the cat food there. Damn those ants. Keep rinsing my brush here. I don't know, the water's hot in the hose. Damn it, it's going to be cold by the time I rinse my shoes. And you tripped on the cat's water. i got to fix this too. I'm going to rinse my shoes first. water nice and hot. That's probably rinsed off real nice. Now let's see. Now you see it down there. See right along here? That's You get water in there. That's where the termites are. So we got to avoid getting water down there. So let's see. Is it still hot? Yeah, I'm going to put a little more water in the cat's dish here. I think this had a, a ham in it, like in 1995 or something. Was it a high-grade ham? Yeah, I think it was a Dubuque. I don't remember what store I got it at. Could have been the Safe Muffins of G. Who knows? And I rinse all that soap off. Now, the question is, do you think I could do your shoes? Do you want to give it a try? All right. I'll try to be careful. Now, that one isn't too bad, but I'll do it lightly. Okay, let's get the scrub brush. If that, you can set it back down again for a moment. Because I, I don't know if that's, you're straining yourself doing it. I'll put it up a little bit, just tip up. Yeah, getting some brown stuff here. This one isn't the bad one. Now, we won't rinse this one yet. We'll do the bad one next. And then you won't have to lift your feet up when we rinse. Press a little harder there. Were these shoes on the tour all around the country, or this is your normal? Yes, they tour? were. Oh boy, I'm getting all kinds of dirt from all over the United States, right on my front porch. <laughs> okay, set that one down. Now this is the bad one. This has the gum on it. Yeah, it's right on the heel there mostly. Is that hard for you to do that? Not really. It looks like you're going to fall forward or something. It's worth it. Okay, I'm going to work on the good part first. I'm going to work my way back. Kind of tip down so I can press harder. Actually put it down on the cement and tip up. That's it. Let me get it like this. Is that okay? You're not straining yourself? Just fine. Uh, ooh, I'm trying to avoid getting the little... See the, how brown the brush is? I think I'm getting that gum loosened up. God, I wonder if that's something else other than gum. Don't let any soap get on the camera. 
that, that wants to kind of flip up those little bubbles on the brush. And I don't want them to get on my clean shirt either. Now let's tip up a little bit. Let me let me look at it. Yeah, this is great. Thank you for letting me do that. Yeah, that's loosening up. I'm going to spray a little more on this one because that really is bad. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. I'm going to feel a lot better after this. Oh, and by the way, there was a little public hair around the toilet. I, when you weren't looking, I, I took care of that. I used that towel you left in the bathtub and wiped that up. So it's perfect in there now. I'm surprised. I thought I'd uh, taken always, all my you know, public you, hair out. You always seem to leave. There's, every time you've taken a shower in my bathroom, there's been little black dots on the blue tile. Is that like coming off your black socks or something? I always see that. Every time you've been in there. Yeah, oh boy, I'm getting even more dirt off this shoe. Okay, let's leave them flat and I'll just run your feet over the... Actually, this one I'll spray right there. Let me just see if I got any of that stuff. Now let me look at that. Let me see if I got it. Tip up. I'm going to do that one a little more. There's still some stuff there, but I got most of it. So I had a place to sit down. Here, I'll uh, lean on this wall. That'll help. All right. Yeah. But you might want to shake your shirt when you're done. Why is that? Well, that's dirty on the wall there. You're going to... Yeah, that must not be gum, because it is... It's whittling down. It's kind of dissolving. Where do you think you stepped in that? Did you know you had that? It's hard to say. Probably uh, last night. Probably. No, it was some of those guns, gum spitting fans at you the Cubberly. The ones with the trench coats, maybe, or the regular ones. You never know. Would Boy, you rather be cleaning off gum from a a gothic trench coat? Oh, that'd be just super. I might even have an orgasm. That'd be great. <laughs> But at least the brush is turning browner and browner. I'm really getting it off here. Of course, those are brown soles on that shoe, you know, and I they're very cheap shoes, so it could be the dye coming off. They're from Payless Shoes Source. Okay. Let's rinse both feet a little bit. Yeah. Nice and easy. Yeah, I think I got it. That's looking pretty good now. now. What I want you to do now is just, we'll do this, but then just kind of rub your feet through the water like I do. Yeah. Just come over there and do that. Actually, do this. Can you tip your feet up when you're standing? Do like that, one at a time. Do that one, I'll spray this one. Now do the other one. Now let me rinse the brush. Don't go in yet. We got to get the brush rinsed off. Yeah, see, it's getting nice and clean again. That was. Thank you for letting me do that. That was great. I feel better now. Now I'm going to put the brush and the fantastic up here, and then I'm going to rinse once more before we go in. Got to be clean here. There's still a few ants here, too. And then when you're done, you know, when you leaned up against this, when you leaned up against this, I want you to shake your shirt, because you probably got sawdust off that shutter. Okay, now you run your feet through that, and then you can go inside, and then I'll be, I'll be done. Just go through that again. Come right up there and go right through that water. Just rub your feet through there, because it's dirtier over there where you were walking. Scrub them back and forth a few times. Let me squirt a little more water. See, I got something. There was a little speck of dirt there. Okay. Well, if you want to go inside now, I'm going to do mine, and then I'll come in and we can play that back and see how dumb I am. Here, I'll do mine right here.
Now, see, I have to stand right here, though, so the only problem is let me clean a spot here, because you got to stand back there. I'll stand over here. Okay. There's still water. Yeah, is it clean over there? It looks like pretty good water to me. Okay, good. Get all these soap bubbles out here. And then I'll do mine again. Just a rinse. I'm not going to scrub. I don't know. Right. Do you think if I stand over here, I'll, I'll still be in the old shoe water? Maybe the rinse water went over here yeah, and it has it part particles of gum in it. It could. You rinse a little more right there. Rub them back and forth. Don't be timid. Just do it. That's it. Now I'm going to do mine, then we can both go in. See, this area is clean now, and your area is clean. And I think we're doing real good now. We got everything clean. Okay, I think I'm going to go in now. Let's see how mine look. That looks good. About the other one. Yeah, but I'm going to do it once more. There. Okay, I'm going in now. Okay, you want to follow me? Okay, well, I think we got our feet clean. Come on in, but you better shake your shirt, you know, after that. Come on in. Okay, that's it. Now everybody knows how I clean my shoes on my front porch in Martinez. That's it, don't... What's that beeping? You're beeping? Oh, my darn alarm clock got switched on. And it's dying the battery. I'm going to go in the kitchen now and wash my hands. See how worn out everything is? I don't know if all this worn out stuff will show up on the tape. Look at this grout on the sink. See, it's all black. And there, underneath all this tile, there's termite dust. It's just going to fall apart. That's you know where you are right now? That's the very spot right on that tile, right there. That's where my mother used to cut up chicken. She'd be right there. And then that stove over there, the wedge wood. It's the curdlerizer, isn't it? Yeah. You see the oven? Remember that tape about uh, Thanks Christmas 1985? That's the, the so-called dark oven that we hear about. You're not going to get any sound out of that. <laughs> That's it. And this is that kitchen where my mother and my grandmother did stuff. I think this water faucet sounds the same way it did in 1985. It was on that tape there over here turning it on trying to make the gravy. You remember that. Well, how did it sound in 1975? Probably similar, different? but maybe if we had a different washer in the valve here it may have sounded a little differently. Okay, I'm done washing. Oh, don't go out there. That's not too clean. Oh, well, I did clean that. Be careful. That's where big butt pumps. Let's go in here. We'll turn this light on. Here's my big rig where I make my, my gothic space music. There's the little Mackie mixer, the two scanner radios, and here's the the SP-808, boy, that's the greatest. And I got four processors. The Lexicon, the Alesis, this multi-band compressor and the feedback destroyer. And this other little compressor out here. I have had another one of these compressors like that one. That one's called a nano compressor. I've got one on the TV set so that when the commercials come on, the sound won't blast. Oh, uh, if you want to come over this way, I promise you won't trip on the wire. It seems warm in here, too. I'm going to have to turn the fan on. See that nice stereo receiver? When I went to Concord and did a service call, a customer gave me that stereo receiver. Yeah, it's getting pretty warm here in Martinez. Pretty soon we won't be able to... Oh, there's the damn fire truck. Got to wait for that. Okay, I guess he's out of range. But yeah, it's starting to get pretty hot here in Martinez, and I won't be able to make electronic music when it gets above 80 in this room. I'll just have to stop and forget the whole thing until next fall or something. Right now, I have to wash my hands again. Now, only this time, maybe we'll go into the bathroom. Now, you may have all seen the, or heard the, the sex dirt thing about the 
public hair around the base of the toilet. This is the toilet. This is the actual one. Now, after you took your shower in here, I came in here, and I'll do it right now. I got a little more fantastic, but actually, there's Pro 409 in the bottle, so I just go like that. I'm just take a little paper towel, and I don't see any public hair, but it doesn't hurt to do it again. As you took your shower in here, and there was some kind of hair. I don't know if it was that kind. And those little black dots, I guess you've got black socks or something. And if you notice how the, zoom in again on that, the toilet is kind of lifting up from the floor. What's actually happening, there's a water leak and the floor is sinking. Then the, the pipe is staying rigid, so it's kind of pushing the toilet up. So there's about an eighth of a, not an eighth, maybe a sixteenth of an inch there, gap. So that's why I'm going to have to have all this work done on this house. Everything's rotting away. And then I just drop that in the toilet and I'll flush it later. I'll wash my hands again. And then I'll get the wires for the, the camera. Now don't touch your pants on the toilet. That's bad. Don't do that. Well, I cleaned it, but I still don't want you to do it. Just stay back. And remember, I want you to shake your shirt after we're done. I still remember that you rubbed up on that wood shingle out there. Or that shutter. They get all the soap all around. And they're already like chapped because I've washed them so many times before. So we're going to do it again here. And I take a while rinsing too. I don't want any soap on my hands. And this is the actual, the same bathroom that I talk about. Or I say, look at all that slime on the doorknob. Uh, you must have let TB in here. Does everybody know what TB is? You remember? On the original 180G from 1974. Um, tiny bladder. That was one of our cats, with the one we called the tuberculosis cat, because he kind of coughed all the time. And he did like to spray on the shower curtain. Now see, my little hand towel is out here, and there's a reason it's out here. It's because you took a shower in that bathroom and I didn't want you to touch this washcloth. I left you a different one to touch. So mine's out here now. Just so that everybody knows that I'm eating healthy. Look at this. This is what I'm eating now. Yeah. Thanks to some nice young gothic man named Justin at AT&T Cable, I now eat this kind of bread. God, you must be out of focus there. Well, enough of that. Let's let the answering machine get that phone. Let the answering machine pick it up. Let's listen, see who it is. Let's see who's on this phone. Maybe it's for you, and if it is, you pick it up and talk. Answering machine speakers down there. If it doesn't do anything, it's a damn dud. Hi, Park again. It's two, and um, I'm wondering what the plan is, but I I think I'd like to get a ride over to the studio to get there by three. Hello, it's David. We're just kind of relaxing. I guess we're going to head over in a little while. Richard feels better now. He's fine again. I, that really, I'm sorry about that last night, but he, everything's fine. So. I don't think we're going to be angry anymore. It looks like he's going to give me a ride to that little party if we're still going to have that. And uh, he's been videotaping me. He's got the Klipsch horns on tape. I cleaned my shoes and I cleaned his shoes. And we're going to look at it briefly on my camera. And So maybe this will be the next video. Yeah, he's got the lens practically in my mouth right now while I'm talking to you. Yeah, he's right here, less than a foot. That little rubber thing, it's in a piece of paper towel. Yeah, I know, it's in a, it's, uh, I might as well tell him it's a fake penis, and it's in a paper towel on the floor where I keep my keys to my AT&T cable truck. So, yeah, it got stuck on the cargo van, is that right? One of the fans put it there. wonder if it was a trench coat fan or a regular fan. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the camera. 
And he's oh, Hello. he wants to keep looking at me. Hi. Richard doesn't want his face on the picture, so uh, it's still aimed at me. He won't give me the camera. He's still looking right at me while talking to you, whatever that means. So I don't know what's gonna. I guess we're gonna have to go pretty soon. We've been videotaping for the last half yeah. hour. But just remember, I'm going to have to mop in that room because you stepped in that back porch where Big Butt urinates on the floor and the linoleum is kind of falling apart. So even though I mopped it with Pro 409, yeah. there's still probably some residue from his urine on the floor and you stepped in it. And then we walked up into my inner sanctum mm -hmm. where the Klipsch horns are and that's bad. we got to mop up there. We'll now. get you. But we'll do that later when nobody's looking. And we also checked around the toilet for well, public I've got some air. At home so still. I guess it's going to be I'll, all right. I'll talk about those later. Yeah, and yeah. Richard's on the phone talking to Mark yeah, the, right the now. The early van repairs. Anybody's listening or looking, and then he's aiming the camera right at me, and I'm being done. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about it. I've got to get yeah. going if we're going to get going. Yeah, we're going to have to get going pretty soon. Trench coats and everything. <laughs> All right, see ya. We're going to be coming over pretty quick. Whoops. You didn't hang up the telefucker right. That's it. Just like that. <laughs>